Hi YouTube, it's Jason from Envious Customs here. Today I'm going to be showing you the latest version of software on Elm Street, also known as SOE. The version is now up to version 1.6, as you can see in the about page, 0.0.1.6. So in this new version, we now have transmission uh, data. This includes transmission trouble codes and also viewing live transmission uh, information in the dash, this view and graph view. But I'll be going through this new design uh, shortly. So first off, what is uh, uh, software on Elm Street? Uh, SOE is a Holden dedicated diagnostic application using an Elm327 cable. This application will allow you to read Holden specific trouble codes or engine engine codes as well as Holden specific engine data. There's no other software on the web that's able to do this. It's one of a kind. But I'm just going to go ahead and connect up. So I've just got my Elm cable plugged into my VESS and I've got the ignition on. You don't have to start the car to do this. Let's just go ahead and connect. So it does a whole bunch of little bits of information at the begin at the beginning. Grab checks if I have any trouble codes, which I don't, on both engine and transmission, and also uh, tells me my supported uh, uh, how many supported engine data and transmission data that I can read. So here I have 37 and 19. So let's just go ahead and go to the faults tab. So what's important? To, uh, what makes SOA different is that it actually reads the whole specific fault codes. So you're wondering what that means? It means generally the generic uh, software you can download it doesn't actually read it it can't do it it can't actually see what the fault codes are because it's, it's done in a very specific way as you can see here my VSS has no faults but I will be making another video to show you uh, a fault with an ECU on the bench and make it uh, output some codes but that's what makes the difference is this actually allows you to read the what the fault code is a lot of scan tools will say there's nothing wrong even though there is something there and your dash is displaying it and when you, you have fixed it you can then go ahead and try and clear the fault and it should disappear from your um, from your history and pending as well. But I'm just going to show you now the engine data. So this is all the Holden specific engine data you can view. So this is this is data that the only Holdens will be uh, showing. Some other cars may be, but this is specific to to Holdens. On startup, it checks all the supported data that you can actually view. So right here, I'm just going to do some quick and easy ones. So coolant temperature, engine RPM, intake, mass, throttle position, and a few O2 sensors. So I'll do a few of those. And so when you're ready, you can then change these the gauges to something else you want to see. So I might make this one engine RPM, throttle position there, coolant temp, intake temp. So then when you're ready, you can just go ahead and start reading. I'm just going to start the car first. All right, that beeping's normal. It's just the VESS dash when it beeps on startup. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and start reading. There you go. So now we can see live engine data from my car. So if I go to rev, you can see the rev uh, live on the view. You can also see this information in the list view, which shows all the data at once. And then also here in the graphing. And the graphing shows all the data. You can change these at any point in time as well. Just right click and change the gauge to a different parameter. And then you can also uh, change the dash to a different value as well, but it's right clicking as you saw before. So once you're done, you can just simply press stop and once you're done there as it says you can then save this log and you can view it again later so let's just go ahead and do that let's just save let's call this log 4 save now that you've saved that you can actually replay it the live data again so I'm just going to go play another one I did so go into the shops alright so I went to the shops what I had in my dash it updates and shows what I had in my dash at that time so I'm just going to go ahead and press play and so this is what my data this is what I was seeing uh, when I was going to the shops, the data live. So I can scroll forward, I can zoom forward, I can go backwards, and it shows the data live. It shows you at what time you are, uh, that you're in the log, and how many points that you had. You can also change any of these gauges again to any value you want to see. Same goes in the list view, you can see all the data you had at any point in time, and also in the graph. You can fast forward, and you can rewind. And if you want to see what the data point is there, just pause it, and you can hover over it and you can see what that value is at what point in time. It's fantastic for intermittent issues and uh, fault codes and if you had a trouble code pop up uh, while you're driving and the, the engine light came off. If you're logging at this point in time, you can then when you get home, you can save the log, you can open it and you can replay it and see at what point in time you had some weird data popping up. So it's, it's fantastic for that sort of way. Also, even for tuning wise, you can see how, how uh, everything was going if you were speeding up onto the freeway or such. And you can see how it changes. And when you're ready, you can press play again and it'll update immediately. 
So I'm just going to press pause. I'm just going to stop it now. There you go. Replay session stopped. And so that's showing you how to replay and, and also view live engine data. Now also going to transmission, exactly the same. You can change the transmission data to whatever you want. So let's just go ahead and watch uh, throttle position, engine RPM, commanded gear, estimated gear ratio. We'll just do a few. And let's press read. There we go. I'm reading live data now. As you can see here, this is my live data playing. See the engine RPM. I've got no, I'm not pressing the throttle at all. See the data in the less view and also in the graph view. It shows the data live as you're going along. Again, you can uh, go for a drive. If any transmission faults come up, you can then have this recorded and you can save it when you get back home and see what was changing. Or if you're on the track day, you can see how things are affected and and uh, then you replay it later. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stop. If I wanted, I can then save that log and open it up again later. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to check that I've got any faults. Now the car's running. All right, no faults running, so that's fantastic. Nothing's going wrong. But that's it for, for now, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or ideas, feel free to let me know. Uh, software on Elm Street can be found at www.enviouscustoms.com. can be purchased uh, with or without diagnostic cable. All of our Elm327 cables come with a free license with SOE. Uh, these are fully tested. They're even tested on my own VE, uh, VESS and also on multiple computers and on multiple uh, ECUs to ensure that they're working 100% before dispatch. And I, I guarantee this, guys. I make sure. All right. If you haven't, uh, let me know if you have any, any more questions. Thanks, guys.